I didn't nail it that time. You ready? Yep. Hey guys, it's Tiny here again today. Today we're gonna talk about and learn about testing E85 and why it's beneficial to you and your car. So first we're gonna go over a couple of the benefits and why you should think about running E85 in your car. The first benefit is it's higher octane rating. It has a much better resistance to detonation and knock therefore making it a really good fuel for performance applications. The next benefit we typically see with the 85 is it can pull a little bit of the heat out of the intake air charge as it requires a little bit more mass to meet those air fuel requirements. That way it can pull a little bit of the, the hot air out of the intake charge. Ethanol also has a faster flame propagation and more expansion than typical gasoline, so it'll generally help with spool up and it also produces a lot more torque and more power across the entire rev range. Lastly, it's a little bit of a cleaner bur burning fuel. It has less carbon deposits, and it's also government subsidized, so your wallet will feel a little bit of a tax break. We also wanna to touch on some of the additional things you're gonna to have to do if you're thinking about running ethanol. Uh, the two major ones are a larger fuel pump and a larger set of injectors. This is just due to ethanol's lower energy density per mass. It just requires a little bit more fuel to get the job done. With that, we also recommend uh, installing flex fuel kits in a lot of your daily driver-esque vehicles as this allows the ECU to analyze the ethanol content on the fly and make adjustments. So with that being said, if you're not interested in running a typical flex fuel setup and you wanna run straight ethanol, um, it's really important that you're testing the ethanol content of your fuel regularly from the pump, uh, just to ensure that you're getting the best possible fuel uh, and the highest possible ethanol content, therefore uh, octane rating of the fuel that you are putting into your car. So these ethanol content testers are super cheap and super easy to use and are just good insurance to make sure that you're gonna have the best performance available. So the first step to using one of these guys is filling it up with water just up to the fill line. So after you've gone to the gas station and collected your sample of ethanol, you're gonna to wanna to go back to your water tube, I guess you call it, your tester here, and you're gonna mix these two together. So after you've mixed your ethanol and your water, you're gonna to wanna to put the cap back on, shake this for a little bit, you know, get your steps in. So after you shake it and got it good and mixed, you're gonna set it down, you're gonna let it rest for about three to four minutes and allow the water and the ethanol to separate. Um, you'll know that you're completed when you see a good clear separation line that's not moving anymore. And then you'll be able to use this chart on the side of the tester to know exactly what your ethanol content is. After letting this sit for a little bit, you can see that clear separation line where you have this kind of foggy mixture and this much clearer mixture up here. Um, and then we have a pretty clear line in between our 85 and our 90%, so we can guess probably about an 87, 88% ethanol content with this fuel that we tested from our local gas station. So there you have it, guys. That's a really simple way, simple and easy way to test your ethanol content. Um, basically how this works is we're just pulling the gasoline out of the ethanol mixture and that rises to the top and that shows us the separation line. Uh, this test can also be done with the graduated cylinders. There's some info online to show you how to do that if you don't want to go out and purchase one of these testers. I find this way easier. And then also like we talked about earlier, there are electronic ethanol content sensors that will do all of the work for you, which means you don't even have to get out of the car and shake a bottle. If you guys like this video and want to see more of this kind of content and more of us explaining these more complex things, uh, definitely let us know in the comments below. Other than that, thanks for having me. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. Peace.